the Verizon Payment Security Report is a must-read for data security professionals, and the 2020 report is no exception. The theme of this year's report is strategy, and I've written a blog post on Tripwire's state of security, which details my three highlights from the report. This quick video digs a little deeper into the overarching theme, what strategy means when it comes to cybersecurity. When we talk about strategy, there are two key ingredients required regardless of domain, and these ingredients help define what strategy is and guide what strategy should be. The first ingredient is a victory condition. In order to create a strategy, you need to know what it is you're trying to accomplish, how to win. The second are the rules or constraints. Strategy is bound by the rules of the game. In cybersecurity, those are the business constraints under which we work. If knowing how to win is the first ingredient, what does that look like in cybersecurity? In chess, it's capturing the king. In sports, it is often scoring the most points or being the first to reach a goal. In cybersecurity, it is defined by the business goals. And that is why strategy is more difficult endeavor in business or security. In a sport like soccer or basketball, the goal is defined by the rules and shared by the competitors. In security, it's up to the business leaders to define the goals and the rules. More on that in a bit. Since the first ingredient is defining what winning means, how do you do that? The first step is to avoid playing not to lose. In data security, we might define losing as suffering a data breach or other major security incident. While keeping those things from happening or minimizing the impact is an important part of cybersecurity, playing not to lose is a negative, reactive approach that allows the bad actors to define the win condition. It's not enough to keep bad things from happening. A more positive approach is to define winning not by what doesn't happen, but by what you plan to accomplish. Define what will happen if you execute your strategy in a positive way and how you can measure success. Know the overall business goals and define winning as accomplishing a cybersecurity objective that contributes to those goals. Banking, energy, healthcare, retail, and even the public sector all face different business challenges. Those challenges will shape the overall business strategy and that in turn will shape the security and compliance objectives. Once you know what winning looks like and you've defined your victory condition, you can now formulate the strategy within the rules governing the game. What are the rules? The rules are the second ingredient defining strategy, and they're the constraints under which you operate. In soccer, players must use their feet. In chess, pieces can only move a certain way. Both are constrained to a limited playing field. Similarly, a data security program is constrained by budget, people, skills, and technology, among other things. Every constraint a business faces is a challenge, but those are the rules of the game. Strategy and success are defined within those constraints. The rules or constraints now shape your approach to your cybersecurity program. For instance, if you're budget constrained, and who isn't, how does that shape how you'll meet your goal? Do you spend on training a limited staff to increase skills, focus on technology to increase efficiency. Perhaps outsourcing will help fill a gap. Define how to win and reframe those constraints as rules. This is your game to win and a sound strategy will get you there. Once you have defined the victory condition and understand the rules of the game, you are now able to develop the strategy to achieve victory. The strategy forms the overall approach to winning and those shape your tactical choices, which serve as a heuristic when hard decisions need to be made. This video just barely scratches the surface of data security strategy. My goal was to help you understand strategy based on two ingredients. One, think about what winning means for your security program. And two, consider the constraints, not as roadblocks, but as the rules of the game. To go deeper, I highly recommend the 2020 Verizon Payment Security Report. Not only will it help you develop your strategy, it's full of recommended resources and further reading.